Hello everyone and welcome to our channel which is will be the main source for everything related to modern life and health for more lifey life. In today's video we'll be talking about the kidneys and the dialysis for you to understand the how those treatment machines and medical equipments are working for your information and knowledge. So, we'll start our video and before that please don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bottom to receive every updates and like the video if you found it useful. And now what are the kidneys made of and what are their functions? Each kidney consists of building blocks known as nephrons. These nephrons carry out their work in two stages, filtering and cleaning the blood, then returning the necessary substances to the bloodstream and removing waste in the form of urine. What are the job of the normal kidney? 1. Removal of waste from the body in the form of urine. 2. Remove excess fluid. 3. Regulating acid-base balance. 4. Regulating electrode levels in the body. 5. Regulate blood pressure regulate red blood cell production. 6. Regulating calcium absorption. When any defect occurs in the kidney functions, the kidneys begin to deteriorate gradually and pass through several stages until they reach the last stage, the fourth stage, which is chronic kidney failure. Dialysis is a treatment for purifying waste and water from the blood, as the kidneys did when they were healthy. Dialysis helps control blood pressure and balance important minerals such as potassium, sodium and calcium in the blood. When does the patient need dialysis? There are two main types of dialysis, peritoneal dialysis and hemodialysis. We need dialysis if your kidneys no longer remove enough waste and fluids from your blood, meaning they can't do their basic functions. It usually happens when you have only 10 to 15% of your kidney function remaining. Symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, swelling, and fatigue begin. However, even if you don't have these symptoms yet, you can still get a high level of waste products in your blood that may be toxic to your body. Dialysis is a medical procedure used to remove waste products and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are unable to perform their normal filtration and excretion functions. It is commonly used for individuals with end-stage renal disease, ESRD, or acute kidney injury, AKI. According to the Riffle criteria, the severity of acute kidney injury is based on three grades. Increase in the creatinine serum. Decrease in the urine output. Decrease in glomerular filtration rate. There are two types of renal replacement therapy which is intermittent replacement therapy and continuous replacement therapy. The intermittent replacement therapy has two types IHD or intermittent hemodialysis and SLED or EDD which slow low efficiency dialysis and the other type which is the continuous dialysis it can be performed using two techniques the first one is the peritoneal dialysis and the second one is the CRRT which it needs a whole video specially for those ones and we can cover it in our next videos. Now let's talk about the intermittent hemodialysis or as known as hemodialysis how it works and it can help the patient from a technical and physical point of view will not be talking medically as this part requires a very long video to cover the whole aspect. Our focus here in this video is to give you an idea about how the medical equipment is normally working. And now let's describe the hemodialysis. The hemodialysis involves the use of a machine called a hemodialyzer or dialysis machine. The process typically takes place in a specialized dialysis center or hospital setting and involves the following steps. Vascular access. A vascular access point is created, usually in the form of an arteriovenous fistula, AV fistula, arteriovenous graft, AV graft, or central venous catheter, CVC. This access point allows blood to be withdrawn from the body and returned after being filtered. Blood filtration. The patient is connected to the dialysis machine, and their blood is pumped through the dialyzer, which consists of a semi-permeable membrane. The dialyzer is divided into two compartments, the blood compartment and the dialysate compartment. Dialysate solution, the dialysis machine prepares a special solution called dialysate, which contains electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, and calcium, etc. and other substances necessary for maintaining the balance of fluids and electrolytes in the body. And very important to have acid concentrate and bicarbonate to maintain the pH of the blood. 
The way the machine mixing and preparing the dialysate or the dialysis solution is differing from manufacturer to another some of them are using liquids and the other are using powder at the end the dialysate has to be in certain concentration and pH. The main components that will be used in every session is the dialyzer, the bloodline, the fistula needles or the central catheter, and the dialysate which is consisting of the acid concentrate and the bicarbonate which we mentioned it earlier. The main part of the filtration process is the dialyzer so there are many aspects to be considered when choosing a dialyzer. First one is the size of the dialyzer to be suitable for the patient size and weight. Second thing is the pore sizes is it high flux dialyzer which allows more filtration and removal or a low flux dialyzer and all of it will be determined by the doctor or the physician. Now let's see what's happening inside the dialyzer. The patient blood flows outside the patient's body and through the vascular access and pushed towards the dialyzer by the blood tubing or the bloodline. The blood enters the dialyzer capillaries or the semipermeable membrane while the dialysate flows on the other side of the semipermeable membrane. The main mechanisms is called diffusion and ultrafiltration. As the blood flows through the dialyzer, waste products, excess fluid, and electrolytes pass through the semipermeable membrane by a process called diffusion. Simultaneously, excess fluid is removed from the blood through a process called ultrafiltration. And here the blood will diffuse all the extra components and waste like urea and creatinine even the excess fluid will be removed. After the blood cleaned it will pass the filter and returned to the patient's body through the line and the vascular access. And this process is called the rain fusion. Hemodialysis sessions typically last for a four hours and are performed multiple times per week, mostly three times depending on the individual's needs and prescribed treatment plan. Both hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis help remove waste products, maintain fluid and electrolyte balance, and manage blood pressure in individuals with kidney dysfunction. The choice of dialysis modality depends on various factors, including the patient's medical condition, lifestyle, and preferences, and is determined by the healthcare team in consultation with the patient. At the end thank you for your time and we hope the video was useful to you and see you again soon.